Hello Air Signs! Let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. And it could be about pretty much anything. Love, finances, friendship, trips, um, whatever comes up. We'll have four separate spreads in this reading. The first spread is for all of you, it's like a bonus, and then there's going to be a separate spread for every air sign individually. Timestamps should be in the description box down below. Please sh like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is for all um, air signs. We have the Nine of Wands, we have the Emperor clarified by the Four of Cups, we have the Two of Swords clarified by Death, and uh, we also have the Page of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with an Aries, um, or Scorpio, or absolutely any zodiac sign. You got an offer coming your way, um, air signs. Some kind of an offer <laughs> from the Emperor, but you're not accepting the offer. You're not accepting what they're offering you. Right? Um, it could be because of the experience, the bad, the negative experience you too had in the past, or based on the, a negative experience you had with another person, but perhaps this person coming in is an exact replica of that other person. Maybe they're behaving the same way, or something reminds me, reminds you of that person, and you're telling them no. Right? So yeah, you got the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, it could be absolutely anything. It could be money. <laughs> it could be like tickets to a game, tickets to a show, concert, what have you. Or they could maybe... May, it, for some of you, it's somebody from your past, like I said, right? So maybe they're gonna find an excuse to reach out to you. They could be texting you or calling you and saying, Hey, I found this thing that belongs to you. I found it in my car, I found it in my home, would you like it back? And you're going to be like, no, throw it away, keep it, right? But, uh, you know, they're coming in, or they're coming back with that page of pentacles, so do expect something. They're going to come back, maybe bearing gifts. The 901s, the first guy that came out, I think this is um, either what happened between you two in the past, and you're feeling this way, and the 901s is a card of a wounded warrior, it's a card of somebody who's suspicious, skeptical, Somebody who would say something like, oh, I don't think it's a good idea. It's a card of somebody who is on defense, somebody who puts up a wall between themselves and another person. So it could have happened between you and the Emperor or between you and another person. And you're just not, uh, like I said, welcoming the Emperor into your life at this point. And speaking of the Emperor, there, the, there they are. There he or she is, right? The Emperor could be an Aries. You're dealing, but the emperor could be like a boss figure, or the emperor could be a control freak. You know, the extreme version of the emperor is a control freak. Somebody who says my way or the highway, they everything is supposed to go their way, right? And uh, they're clarified by the four of cups. You're rejecting this person, and at the end we have the two of swords clarified by death. Uh, death could be a Scorpio you're dealing, but together with the two of swords, this is you remaining closed off. This is you not entertaining this. This is you not giving this person a chance or a second chance, right? Death could be a card of a Scorpio, like I said, but death is a card of an ending. So in your mind, you're done with this person. All right? Cool. Gemini, um, we have the Two of Cups, clarified by the Sun. We have uh, the Seven of Cups, clarified by the Three of Wands. We have the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Knight of Swords. And we also have the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing... What a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Leo in particular. Uh, maybe a fellow air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, I like it. I think you're going to go somewhere. Not necessarily over the weekend, but uh, you could be planning a future trip. <laughs> or some of you could be going somewhere over the weekend. It could be spontaneous, right? Uh, but we start with the Two of Cups, clarified by the Sun. Um, the Two of Cups is a soulmate card. It's a card of when two people are in agreement, when two people are on the same page, when two people feeling the same way towards one another. The Sun clarifying it could be a Leo you're dealing with, but the Sun is a card of clarity, so perhaps you're just getting together with somebody, you're getting on the same page, you're getting the show on the road, maybe it's, uh, it's the first time ever between you and this person or you're getting on the same page about the fact that you guys need a vacation <laughs> or you're getting on the same page about the fact that you want to go somewhere together all right uh, the sun is uh, also the happiest card in the deck it's a major arcana card and uh, it's the only major arcana card on the table and again it's the happiest card in the deck on the bottom of the deck we have the ace of wands um, another fire sign indicator here is leo sagittarius but the ace of wands is a very passionate ace all right so perhaps you guys are just uh, 
getting the show on the road. Like I said, maybe you guys are having um, a one-on-one -on -one time, getting cozy with one another <laughs> over the weekend. <laughs> Or, or something along those lines. And then we have the Seven of Cups clarified by the 301. So at some point, either right before the weekend or during the weekend, you guys are going to be like, oh, why don't we go somewhere? Right? Why don't we... Yeah, it could be spontaneous. Um, it could be, like I said, you're going somewhere over this weekend or at some point in the future. Because the Seven of Cups is a card of a multiple choice. I think this, with the Seven of Cups, you guys are literally looking at the screen of your phone or at the screen of your, of your tablet or computer and you're looking at vacation destinations. Looking like booking a hotel room, booking tickets, right? You're looking at options with that Seven of Cups and with the three of ones, you will zero in on one of the options, on one of the hotels, on one of the, the vacation destinations, one of the whatever, right? And the eight of ones clarified by the Knight of Swords, you're going somewhere. Again, not necessarily over the weekend, maybe over the weekend or maybe you're planning a future trip, but because those two cards are really fast cards, right? The eight of ones is one of the fastest cards in the deck and the Knight of Swords is the fastest knight out of all for knights. The Knight of Swords is also an air sign indicator. Well, you're an air sign. Maybe you're dealing with a fellow air sign. All right, so it looks like a lot of fun. All right, looks like you're really happy and uh, looks like you could be probably going somewhere. All right, cool. Libra, we have uh, Strength, clarified by the Page of Wands, we have the Ace of Swords, clarified by the World, uh, we have the Will of Fortune, uh, clarified by the Queen of Swords, and we have uh, the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You're dealing with a Leo, <laughs> Libra. I mean, it's kind of similar to the Gemini reading. Well, to an extent, similar to an extent, alright, because um, in the Gemini reading, we saw a Leo, we saw a fire sign in general, but uh, from what I see here, you, you're probably going to be invited to a Leo's birthday. Okay? Or maybe you're going to be organizing a surprise birthday party for a Leo. I know it's still, what, three, four, five weeks away, but perhaps it's time to uh, book hotels, book, get those tickets, or get the uh, birthday party started, start preparing for it, because that's what I see here. It kind of, it, it makes total sense that you're, like, th this spread is associated with a Leo's birthday, right? Let me explain, let me elaborate. We start with Strength. Strength is a Leo major arcana card. It's clarified by the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is a, is a card of communication, okay? And uh, we have both the Wheel of Fortune and the World in the same reading. So it's one uh, chapter of someone's life coming to an end, and a new chapter of that same person's life is about to begin, right? So it's in... One year ending for them and another year starting. So they're getting younger by one year. <laughs> Soon. And uh, that's what this whole thing is all about. The Ace of Swords often comes through as the word yes. Right? Uh, with the Ace of Swords, people are usually crystal clear. So it could be you saying yes, yes, I'm going to your birthday, yes, I'm going to help you, or yes, I'm going to organize or help organize your birthday or birthday party or something like that. Right, we also have the Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. It's a soulmate card, but it's also a card of somebody from the past. It's not necessarily an ex, not necessarily love, right? Maybe you're planning a trip to go back to where you've been before, right? Or this Leo could be from your past or something like that. And the thing about the Six of Cups, we're usually glad to see people when the Six of Cups shows up. All right, so yeah. Uh, I hope you have a good time. Aquarius, we have uh, the Chariot, clarified by the King of Pentacles. We have the High Priestess, the Ten of Pentacles, and uh, the Six of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Uh, you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or uh, Cancer. Um, so we have two cards on the table that could be interpreted as cards of literally going somewhere or moving, relocating, right? The Chariot is the first one, and the Six of Swords on the bottom of the deck is the second one. Right, and uh, we're right in the middle of a Cancer birthday season, and the Chariot is a Cancer Major Arcana card. Maybe you're going somewhere for uh, uh, someone who is a Cancer, their birthday. You're going somewhere for their birthday, right? Um, the King of Pentacles, uh, clarifying the Chariot, could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody with a lot of Earth in their chart, or maybe this is somebody who is an entrepreneur or wealthy, or someone like that. And uh, this person is somehow associated with all of this, <laughs> right? They're clarifying the chariot. 
So this person could be sh moving forward, this person could be showing up, you and this person could be going somewhere, you could be moving in or moving together, or moving towards a commitment, right? Because at the end we have the Ten of Pentacles, right next to the deck, which is a card of a commitment or marriage, it's a card of a family, it's a card of real estate, um, or it's also a card of uh, financial abundance. The High Priestess in the middle could be a card of a secret, maybe what's actually going on, all of this, uh, you're keeping it away from other people. It could be just the two of you. <laughs> um, the High Priestess could also be a card of intuition, right? Perhaps you're intuitively doing something, or you're intuitively saying yes to this person or something like that. So basically, it's you and this King of Pentacles, right? The, uh, there could be a trip coming up where you're moving in, or you're moving, or uh, maybe you're buying a home, maybe you're going places and looking at different homes, right? Um, be, but you're keeping it to yourselves for now, because for whatever reason, maybe you don't want anybody to know that you're looking at homes, you're looking at houses, all right? Um, it's a positive spread, it's a good spread. I don't see any red flags, I don't see anything you need to be concerned about. Right, uh, and the thing about the Six of Swords, the Six of Swords is not only a card of literally going somewhere or moving, it's also a card of things getting better, right? Things improving. Alright, cool.